everybody. All right, in this video, let's get a little practice with series and parallel resistors. So let's take this example. So you take a look, like what's in series, what's in parallel. All I see is these are in series, All right? So you can basically replace, right, that's four ohms, that's 18, but these two combine. And when you combine them in series, it's just three plus six, right? The equivalent resistance. So nine ohms. Okay, so now you take a look at this. Is anything in series, anything in parallel? These two are in parallel. So then how do you compute the equivalent resistance of two resistors in parallel? It's one over 18 plus one over nine and then take the reciprocal. Right, so one over nine, I mean, just punch this in the calculator, but one over nine is like two over 18. So that's the reciprocal of three over 18. So, okay. The main thing to remember is when you have two resistors in series, the equivalent resistance is more than each of these. This one is three, this one is six. The equivalent resistance is guaranteed bigger than six. Analogously, for resistors in parallel, this one is 18, this one is nine. Guaranteed, the equivalent resistance is lower. It's less than the smaller one. Right, so we got a value of six. So that makes sense, it's less so then what we have is 4 over here, and then the 18 and the 9 equivalent is 6. Okay, so now we see these two in series. So it looks like just... So this 120 volt source, if you disconnected it and then just measured like from here to here, the equivalent resistance of all of this would just be 10. Okay, let's try another one. I found one that's like a big mess. Okay, so you take a look at this. What do we see? This, right, these are in series. So when series, you add them together. Right, so that's in series, that's 1500. Anything else in series? Not really. These two are in parallel. So how do you compute parallel? One over 750, one over 500, and then you take the reciprocal. You know, just punch in the calculator, but um, that's two over 1500, and then that's three over 1500. So then that's five over 1500, take the reciprocal, that's 300. And then just to check, 300 is indeed less than either of these. So it kind of, like, that's my first check. Okay, and then these two are in parallel. So that's 1 over 1,500, 1 over 3,000, and then take the reciprocal. 1 over 1,500 is the same as 2 over 3,000. Right, so you add them together, it's 3 over 3,000. Then take the reciprocal, so that's 1,000. 1 kilo ohm. Okay, so this big mess, right, this turns into 1,500. These two in parallel became 300. And then these two in parallel turned into 1,000. Okay, so let's practice a little more. Well, maybe right off the bat, these two, let, maybe let's just do one at a time. How about these two in parallel? Right, these two in parallel. So that's 1 over 1,500 plus 1 over 300, 
let's see if we go times five then that's five over 1500 right so that's six over 1500 and like the reciprocal so let's see 1500 over three that's 500 so 250 okay so then it looks like that's 2000 or well, we could have just added those two together right that's 3000 and then this one turned into 250 right so then it's just 2000 1000 250 you just add those three in series so that's 3250 you want to draw it maybe I'll draw it this way and then this was up here like this right I'm just gonna move it over here just so it looks nicer over here okay right, so that big mess just the equivalent resistance as far as what that voltage source sees is just 3250 ohms Okay, so I hope that helped a little bit. See you on the next video.